Joey, when I asked you to come on this cycle, did you ever imagine you'd be having a Sapporo beer on a beach next to the world's biggest nuclear power plant whilst a Nintendo 64 controller was behind you and there was a big waifu pillow stuck to your bicycle? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Journey Across Japan, Cycle to the Death. Today we're in Niigata Prefecture and it's day two of Joseph the Animation Man's trip with us, joining us as my first major guest. How are you feeling? My ass is sore. His ass is sore. We cycled about 30, 30, 30 kilometers yesterday. <laughs> you, you suggested I buy these like padded cycling pants and they did not help whatsoever. I might as well have just slapped a steak <laughs> on my ass and it would have done the same thing. Poor old Joey. But today, we do have the Ampan Man capsule toy machine. We're accepting challenges sent in by you guys every single day of the trip, and we're about to turn Ampan Man's chest and get our first major challenge of the day. Here we go then. So every day, my production crew is uh, putting five or six of your challenges into these balls. All right, first challenge. For those of you who didn't see yesterday's challenge, was decided by Joey, and it involved a dark, scary, haunted tunnel. And we did it. It was really fun. <laughs> Except it wasn't. All right, uh, instead of doing one challenge, do three. This has all got very philosophical now. Does this count as a challenge or not? Is it like the, the three genie, uh, three, like the three wishes of a genie, like does, does that count as a wish or? I think we should count that as a challenge. You sure? Yeah. I guess our first challenge then is to accept two more challenges. Cool. So bit of a non-challenge really. This is gonna be a shit show. Our second challenge. Ooh. Oh, okay, this one's cool. Pimp your bike with at least five crazy Japanese items. And the third challenge. The whole video is just us fucking getting <laughs> challenges out of this bloody machine. Go slowly, fucking hell. There we go. And the third, final challenge of the day. Please let it be nice. Have a beer in an unusual place. What does that mean? From John App Ted. What, what, is, what constitutes as an unusual place? Completely subjective, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm sure we can find some kind of unusual place in you. It's a, it's a big prefecture. Look at that. So pimp our bike and have a beer in an unusual place. Doable. So let's get this done. Today we're cycling to Kashiwazaki, a city oh, about 40 kilometers south of here. So cool. First stop then. Let's try and find somewhere to pimp out our bikes. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go again, folks. How are you feeling sitting down? I want to kill myself. <laughs> let's do it. And away we go. Jerry, this will do. This is perfect. Pull over here. So we've stumbled across a second-hand shop called Off House. Anything with the word off after it in Japan is a second-hand goods shop. Book off, hard off, jerk off, anything. We've agreed to have a limit of 10,000 yen, which is about $100, but we can spend as little or as much as we want of that. And we've got to buy five things each. Let's go and see what we can find. Yeah. They always have the most annoying music in these places. It's the worst, like... <sighs> that song. Alright Joey, I'll see you in there. Uh, see you in 10 minutes. Good luck. Cute, isn't it? Maybe I can win favour with you guys by having some sort of cute item on my bike like this adorable snuggly teddy bear. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> Chris is fucking mental. <laughs> he hasn't had breakfast yet. Okay, the thing is I have no idea what the fuck I want, but there are a lot of clothes in here which I want. Oh, actually, I think I found something. You know, I often wonder if I'm the only one who finds Elmo a little bit creepy. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face! I think I found something pretty nice. This, is, this whole section right here full of random crap. But uh, I think I can find some pretty interesting things in. So yeah, let's see what I can find. I saw Joey sneak off to the uh, clothes and toy section, whereas I went to the electronics and games part where you can get like games from the 19, 1980s and 1990s. Don't know how I'm going to fit a Nintendo 64 game onto my bike, but to be honest, I'm just looking for an excuse to walk around and look at old retro games. I love it. Come on, where are you, Golden Eye? Where are you, Golden Eye? Japanese second-hand shops, absolute miracle. You can buy things from 20 years ago that look almost brand new. 
uh, just because Japanese people take such good care of things, you know. If you guys think we're going to have trouble spending 10,000 yen today, just to put things in perspective, here's a PlayStation for 324 yen. <laughs> I don't think it works though, it is in the junk section, to be fair. So, just finished shopping, I spent a whopping 3,900 Yen, uh, about forty dollars. What did you spend? Uh, how, was, how did you spend that money? I spent one thousand four hundred and four yen. Fourteen dollars. I spent <laughs> half of what you put. No, less than that. Yeah. Nitro. Uh. Pull it back. It ain't nothing. Just ride to it. It was cool with you. Roll it up and ride to it. Let the wind blow. We just ride to it. Just ride to it. Yeah. I put my life on the line when I write between the line. I could put it in a song or deliver the rhyme. I put my life on the line trying to get that shine. Half the time, life is all about waiting in line. So, we just finished kitting out our bikes, and uh, first things first, Joey's going to give us the tour of his one. Pimp my bicycle. What we got? Check this shit out. Check uh, this shit out. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. So, first off, I have the, uh, the waifu pillow. The waifu which, pillow. Which I was originally going to put on my ass. Right. To sit on. But it's a bit thick. Might be a bit dangerous for yeah. a, a high-seated bike like so this. So what's its purpose now? Its purpose now is whenever I get tired, which I do on this trip. Right. Right. I'm like, oh man, all hope is lost. I look down, a beautiful girl staring back at me. <laughs> it's moral support. So it's a beacon of hope. Yeah, she's okay. like Gambare or fucking something, I don't know. So instead, I've got the one piece towel yep. instead to sit on and it's actually pretty comfy like wow, yeah it's nice and thick what have we got over here at the front here we've got the oni mask in case any of my haters are in front of me i can scare them away with this <laughs> what's yeah. the megaphone for the megaphone is if you're in front of me and i right. want you to go quickly i'll be like hurry up chris you know and then the, fifth the tambourine item. secretly under here what is that so whenever on a rocky road right you know the back tire is bouncing up and down it will you know exactly where I am. Isn't that gonna get very annoying very quickly? Oh, that's exactly the point. <laughs> so I have sound coming from the back and the front. Wow. See, I've gone a very different direction. So I was I was inspired by the retro video games consoles and things we saw in this store. Yeah. So I kick things off with a Nintendo 64 controller. First games console I ever had. So I can look at that and feel uh, nostalgic. That's, there's, there's not much pragmatic in it. It's more like nostalgia value. Okay. Same goes for the PlayStation DualShock controller, which I've uh, also put there. Also, stress relief. If I get a bit stressed, I can, Just you know, clack the buttons. play around with the buttons, fiddle around with the N64 controller. Right. When I was a kid, I always wanted drums. I always wanted a drum kit, but my parents couldn't afford it. Right. Very sad. Very sad indeed. So, Credits. what I've got here <laughs> is the Donkey Kong drum kit. Right? So now, whenever I'm bored, is that during the cycle? Because then you have to take both yeah. hands off your handle. True, it's a bit, bit of a health hazard, yeah. not gonna lie. Uh, worse still, I can't actually turn the bike wheel. I, uh, <laughs> I can't turn the bike wheel very far because the drums are uh, blocking the wheel. So it's a bit of a health hazard, but I think it's worth the health hazard because I could do this. Yeah. Also, when I'm coming around the corner, I can notify people. Hit the old drums. Ah, oh, it must be a in Japan coming around the corner. It's the drums, isn't it? Uh, also, I've got a Bluetooth speaker here. This costs 2,000 yen. So this is Wait, why so your entire... Bluetooth my entire budget is less than your Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker. Because yeah. my whole thing was 1,400 yen. Yeah. <laughs> Although this Bluetooth speaker is better than all of your things combined. Oh, is that right? Because I can listen to sick beats whilst, sick whilst cycling beats? down the road. Finally. Last but yeah, not where's least. Where's your last thing? Hidden, oh. hidden <laughs> down the back here. Kind of a reflective mirror for uh, traffic coming behind me. <laughs> Mario 64. One of my favourite first games I got for my Nintendo. But it's in this plastic wrapping, which reflects light. So when there's a car coming behind me, light hits that, bounces back, reflects, people know that I'm there on the bike. So it's actually, right. a, this is a safety measure. Okay. So providing I survive the drum kit when I'm turning, this this is here to, to help me. Two very different designs. What do you think is the best one, guys? You can write in the comments below, hashtag Joey wins or hashtag Chris wins. Yeah, that makes sense. Do that and uh, you can decide who the winner is. But for now, we better hurry up. We've got to get bloody going. Let's go. We've still have got one more challenge to complete. We've got to find an unusual location. This is all starting to feel like a really crappy version of Top Gear. Like a poor quality, low budget Top Gear. MTV's Pimp My Bike. Pimp My Disappointing Bike. That's so annoyingly noisy. Why would you put a tambourine on your bike?
Da -da -da, sapper or beer? Ooh, my favourite. Only question remains, where to drink it, Mr. Anime Man? Do you find anywhere unusual around there? There's no. not nothing really unusual about this place. It's just a pretty standard rural area. Except there is one place which I found, which is let's just say it's pretty unique. <laughs> Well, Joey certainly found us something pretty unusual. It's a little bit scary, to be honest. Where have you brought us? This is mental. It's the biggest nuclear power plant in the world. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Joey the Anime Man certainly did bring us somewhere rather unusual. This is the biggest nuclear facility on Earth by output. Kashiwazaki. Kashiwazaki Nuclear Power Station. Joey the Anime Man endorses nuclear power. This is starting to feel like product placement for like Sponsored nuclear energy. Sponsored by Greenpeace. Sponsored by Greenpeace. Joey, when I asked you to come on this cycle, did you ever imagine you'd be having a sapper or beer on a beach next to the world's biggest nuclear power plant whilst a Nintendo 64 controller was behind you and there was a big waifu pillow stuck to your bicycle? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Fun fact, in 2007, the second biggest earthquake to ever hit a nuclear power plant hit this power plant. However, it was fine. They shut it down, checked it over, it was all right. Magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake happened just 12 miles from here. Well, Joseph, you may be Twitter verified and you may have... Uh, collaborated with PewDiePie, but I bet nothing <laughs> tops sitting on a beach yeah. next to the world's biggest nuclear power plant by output. Cool. Oh, you don't, don't, don't sell yourself too short. I'm sitting next to the beach, drinking a beer next to the biggest nuclear power station in the world with a broad in Japan. <laughs> and a bike with a waifu pillow yeah. and a Nintendo 64 controller strapped to it. If that isn't unusual, nothing is. Yep. I think we've definitely completed today's challenge. Well done. It's two days Hell in a row, guys. We've done it. Keep them coming. Keep sending in your challenges. Before we go though, Joey, yeah. What a little treat for you, I'm going to use the Bluetooth speaker. Okay, oh, we're finally using it. We're going to finally use the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> so I got this Bluetooth speaker for a reason. It was 2,000 yen at the second-hand goods shop today. It looks really cheap and crap, but... That's because I, it is. It, because it is, yeah. <laughs> so the day before the cycle started, I did a rap with Natsuki about cycling and bicycles. Okay. A really good rap. <laughs> right. Cycle, bicycle, cycle, bicycle. Rascal! Bicycle! Rascal! Bicycle! After that video came out, I got people on Twitter to remix it, and I got all sorts of remixes come through, and I thought I'd play you one. Okay. They're pretty, some of them are pretty good. Yeah. This, this is my favourite. Okay. So, okay. well done to the person that made this. You're a legend. Here it is. You're not ready for this. Okay. <laughs> Cycle. <laughs> Bicycle, 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 Every 30 minutes, you need to quote an 80s or 90s film quote. This is it. This was worth it this morning, coming up here. Yeah, how does it feel? I'm on top of the world! Ah ha 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 ha! Love and love a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs>